Hey what's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and today some crazy clips of the craziest couples I can find, and like always guys my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one it is absolutely so sad. This woman wasn't ready to get married. You're ready to deal with my, my insecurity, because I don't know what submission is, I sure hope you don't expect me to do that. Well I do expect you to do that. I've never done that before, well, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like I've when, never seen submission before. It looks like when I tell you to do something, you do it. That sounds like control. That's not control. Like That's I already said, I already have control issues. So it's going to be a problem if you try to control me. See. <laughs> and listen, I I'm just going to tell you now, I'm marrying you. I love you, but... I just don't want to be lonely. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is a huge red flag for me personally. For some odd reason, modern day women think that being submissive means slavery or controlling. And even though it's part of your vows and people have been following this pretty much for generations, women have just decided to not follow this anymore. <laughs> if I was this dude, I would definitely not want to get married to this woman. I'm not joking right now. You came out to eat and you ate $20 worth of food. Okay. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay. Well, do you did you, did you, or did you I not I even eat? ordered dessert. You, you ordered the bowl order and you ordered the hash browns. And that's yes. 1875. Look it. 1875 with taxes. It was 386. So I'm just breaking it down. Split that up. 386. Half of that is almost two dollars. I'm thinking like 180 or something like that. So you're oh, but you owe twenty dollars. It doesn't matter what I order. What I didn't order. What I'm saying. Why would I have to pay even half of it when you're here? That's what you're here for. I'm here. I asked you. Did you want to go out to eat with me? I didn't yeah. say I was gonna pay. Oh, okay. Is that so common sense? Is. Do you just go and sit down at restaurants okay, so and just, just figure that they're going to pay for you? You just want to be put in the friend zone, right? Not even that. If I, you know what? Here. Whatever. I don't care. Now, a lot of people can say that this man is just cheap and broke, but I really do feel like a lot of men just do not want to be taken advantage of anymore. And personally, I think that if a man doesn't want to pay for a date, there's probably something off as throwing him about the girl, and he probably thinks he's not going to stay with her for too long. Currently, you have a man mm -hmm. and some side hoes like background <laughs> characters some side hoes okay yeah. how many background hoes do you have <laughs> i was just say like maybe four so they all know mm -mm. Well, they definitely know now, and I'm not sure how men don't realize that they're getting played by one woman. And this is exactly why if you're talking to a girl, unless she's 100% yours, and you guys are married, do not spend a single dollar on her. She's probably taking advantage of you. Just favorite scene to me. There was one scene in particular, there was 17 guys from a frat house, they all lined up, I'm in dog game, they just went one after oh, the other. Nice, nice. Oh, <laughs> Take everything away, how no, do you feel after that? Oh, I was wet. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the day, women can be empowered by configuration and, and having that ownership of their well, having, it blows my mind uh -huh. and that's that's okay everyone's reality is different we live in one ecosystem but eight billion different realities and that's yeah we've just got to respect other people you, and what they want to do and if it's safe it? it's like it was realistic so when you watch they've all got massive well, absolute chiseled. How many people was that? Sorry. So there's 122. Just one after the other, one after the other. So I was there for, was there for oh, just over two weeks. This has to be one of the most disgusting and disturbing things I have ever heard of. And people will gladly say, hey, the past doesn't matter. All that matters is now. And I made a couple mistakes in my past. This is not a couple mistakes, guys. This is her entire personality trait. I got rejected for the first time in my life. You guys know how I was looking for a man to spoil? Rotten. I found one. And guess what happened? Guess what I did, first of all? I think I told you guys. This woman doesn't exist. This is a fairy tale. I'm right here. And I, I gave him my side of the bed. So whenever he woke up in the morning, he had the better view. I gave him hours of massages. I bought a rain machine for my apartment so he could sleep better. I always tried to pick up the bill. I washed his back, literally. I put moisturizer on his face. I always big spooned. I bought him headphones when his over ears were broken. I was trying to order him ice cream because his blood sugar got low and I was asking him what flavor he wanted. He said, how will you stop waiting on me hand and foot? All of that. <laughs> Just for him to say he doesn't think we're compatible. Any of you guys want to guess what she does for a living? Yeah, she does OnlyFans. And that's exactly why this man didn't see her as wife and material and was just trying to use her to have a good free time. She was paying for everything. That was pretty much a sugar mama. I'm in a uh, misconception, actually. I, I don't have sex with many men anymore. I used to, and I felt great about it. Um, I've probably slept with, I don't know, six or seven men in the last six or seven years. I'm hyper selective with men um, in, in my old age and wisdom. I have sex with 
lots, <laughs> a lot, a lot of women. And I feel fucking great about it. Six or seven men in the last couple years. And she calls that being extremely selective. One guy a year is not extremely selective. What I'm really curious about is why none of them decided to wife you up. Those were seven dudes who didn't want to stay in your life. Doing that to me, talking to other dudes in the bar. And yeah. I just went over to him and I said, excuse me, sir. I go, can you give her a ride home? Cause I'm leaving. <laughs> and I left her. I left her in the city. She was, I was living in Jersey. <laughs> And this is exactly how you should be if a girl ever turns you off or just breaches any of your boundaries. Don't deal with it and just leave. I have never disrespected you. Kind of. Oh, you got some big ass titties. That's disrespectful. That's not disrespectful. You know your titties are big. What, what's the problem? Are you? you don't, that's not how you approach a woman. I wasn't you know approaching you, do you. You act like I'm trying to hit on you. I wasn't hitting on you. I just say your titties are big. I'm stating the obvious. You could have said, oh. Oh, you have a beautiful smile. Oh, nice to see you again. You could have said so many things, but you'd be talking crazy to me. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm sure you have enough guys telling you, oh my God, your smile is so beautiful. I just want to get to know you. I just want to, I just want to take you out to uh -huh. eat. And I just want But you know what they're thinking about? They're thinking about those big titties. That's no, what they're thinking about. They're not. Yes, they, you. they are. You they're have fucking a dirty mind, Let me tell you something. You Let me tell you something. Body. Let me tell you something. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell see, you something. This, What's this is the problem. This is the problem we always run into you're together right. whenever we talk hey, together. You're right. I'm gonna let you because speak. I'm giving you the authentic male perspective and you won't listen. I hear you. you. I'm telling you what it is. Like I'm you telling you what it is. Like that. Everybody's like, that. like that. What are you talking about? This is America. America is built on big faith. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I am on this girl's side. That was just not the right way to talk to a woman, especially if you wanna date her or if you see a future in her. That comma would have definitely worked on women who you don't wanna wife up. And in my opinion, that's a red flag if a woman is responding in a good way to that kind of comment. Then again, guys, it is just a puppet talking, so I probably shouldn't take it too seriously. Never told her ex. That I f his best friend. <laughs> no, I can't laugh yet. I've gotta hold it in. I dated him to get closer to his best friend. This <laughs> inter nine years. That his best friend. And this is exactly why a bunch of men are just deciding to stay single and focusing on themselves. I don't blame them. If I knew that dating was going to be this bad when I was in college and my parents was like, focus on that education, the boys will always be there. Don't focus on the boys get that degree, I would have never gotten that degree. I could have skipped a couple classes. I could have failed a couple classes. And I could have been married, two kids by now, working on the third. I can't believe I wasted my good years, my good body. Ooh, and the body was bodying back then. So that I can get a high class education. Just for me to be broke and single? Now I know for sure that there was still a bunch of women in this woman's comment section destroying this guy saying, oh, he should have just minded his own business. Why is he talking to her at the gym? Why is he harassing her? Like, please shut up. Hello, mom. Yeah? I just got a $5,000 donation on my stream. What? I just got a $5,000 donation on my live stream. So he gave me $5,000. I can get a call now. Okay. I know. Are you proud of me? Are you happy that I, that I didn't go to college? I know. At the end of the day, guys, do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else's attention or, I guess, acceptance. Don't do it for a girl's. Don't do it for a girl's approval or even your own mother. At the end of the day, all you have is you. Me and Justin started talking again. It's really fun. We went on multiple dates. We're going to date soon. Emotionally connected and physically attracted to one another. That doesn't sound like just friends, but yeah, I can do that. Search your name in the other person's messages. Damn, look at she, she deleting Sorry, messages. Wait, no. you deleting stuff? Go ahead. Only 
feel really confused. It hurt him a lot. Like, I didn't know this was gonna happen. She belongs to the street. When on multiple dates with this guy, he probably most likely paid for all of them just for him to find out that he was the only one not getting any action and she was giving action to everybody else. This is exactly why the saying goes, nice guys finish last and the girls always make the good guys wait. I don't blame this guy for having this kind of reaction. I'm super happy he decided to get up and leave. This girl is for the streets. But that does wrap it up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top of the screen. It is on my channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.